I'm at Central in Highland Park um, in St. Paul, so let's try some Mexican food. I'm here with Lucy's mom, so we're gonna try the food here. Here's the chips and salsa trio for $8. I'm gonna try this lighter colored salsa. All three of the salsas were really good. Um, I like both the green sauces, to be, all, to be honest. Here's the chicken enchilada for $11. I got it with chicken. You can definitely taste the kick on the salsa verde for sure. That's all I taste really. Esquites. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. I'm sure you guys will correct me. Give it a nice mix up here. Pretty standard to me. Here's a mezcal margarita. I've never had this before. <laughs> that is a, uh, how do I say this nicely? That's a very acquired taste. <laughs> a little too smoky for me. I, I, did, I did not enjoy that as much. But I will finish this because I'm not gonna waste anything. I don't, we don't waste alcohol around here. I only ordered this because they have oysters on their menu, so I've never seen anything like that before, so I got oysters. I think these oysters were $4 each. <coughs> I might have, went, that went down a little too fast. It was like all liquid. There, I ate oysters at a Mexican joint. So the tacos just came out. I'm gonna go with the adobo pork first. Basically, this is their version of an El Pastor, so let's try it. It has really good flavor. Um, you can definitely taste the sweetness from the pineapple. That had good flavor, it's just a little too much juiciness, too much moisture. Let's try the chorizo. You guys know I normally like beef tongue, but what? What? What, they drip? Yeah. Oh. As you guys know, I love beef tongue. I love steak tacos. Yeah, thank you. Um, chorizo is something I normally don't order, but I'm trying to get into it. I will say, out of the two tacos, I like the chorizo way better. Strong kick. The chorizo is the way to go here. This isn't going down. So this is one of those places that you order off a QR code at the table um, and that's how you place your order on your phone. So if you don't like that, you could also get a little printout and look at the menu like I did, but you still got to order on your phone. So let's rate things. Um, we started with the chips and salsa, salsa trio. I think we give that an 8.8. .8. Yep. Okay. This enchilada thing. Um, I think we're gonna go with a seven point three. Three? Okay, seven point three. Avocado was like a weird element. Yeah. Like that wasn't the way to judge it up. Yeah. yeah. Um it's just it's just lacking some flavors here. I just I didn't enjoy it. We didn't really enjoy it. So Not yes. This is pretty standard. I would say seven point five. I've been here for 35 minutes. This drink came out fast. And you guys know. I usually get multiple drinks. I'm still milking it, only because I'm classy. The oysters were not my favorite, but that's what I get for ordering it at a place like this. That's that's on me. I'll give that a 7.7. .7. So the reason why we're here are the tacos, and we got the carnitas in adobo, basically their al pastor. Uh, it was good. It was just really wet. Um, I think we're gonna go with a score for that of seven point. That's a goal. Um, I think just under eight. Okay. Seven, eight, seven, seven, seven point eight. We're going seven point eight. We kind of talked about this ahead of time. I just can't remember. You like that one more than I did. Yeah. Um, the chorizo one was probably the better one that I like. I. I think that's an eight point two. I like the spiciness of it. I love the flavor of it. That one was my favorite. The portion for cost. Yeah. It was, it was yeah. They were yeah. at least for the price. Yeah. 
I just feel like I've been going to so many Mexican places, like authentic places, but this is kind of a different vibe. This is kind of more of that uh, trendy. trendy vibe, and it's a great atmosphere in here. This would be a great happy hour spot if you're meeting a friend or something um, and getting food and drinks. Forgot about that one. Of course, this is my opinion. Um, they're obviously doing really well. They have three locations in the metro area, so they're doing really well. We're halfway there, guys. Halfway there. But we've been here for over an hour, and I've been milking this. You guys know I don't do that, but I promised I would finish this, so we're doing it right now. I did it. Don't order mezcal unless you know what it is. Lesson learned. Lesson learned.